we're at an, an unbelievably rare moment, in, in fact I'd say unique moment in, in human history. Ego has dominated the planet. Cannabis and the other psychedelics have immense potential to cut through, to be really direct and really powerful and help people wake up and they're announcing their presence much more directly uh, at this very moment. A couple of the people in the book refer to cannabis as the sacrament of peace. It has this potential to calm us down, open our hearts, bring us into the real, you know, into the moment. Basically, for survival on this planet, the whole species needs to become spiritualized. We need to recognize who we are, and it's about trust of the moment and trust of the intelligence that we have, calming the mind down and being present and moving through the world with this kind of grace. The karma of the world has reached the end, essentially. The, the only thing that's going to pull us through is a massive spiritual awakening that connects more and more people to our true relationship, because then we start to realize that we are not separate, you know, that the ego part of us was this illusion. We are connected to all this. We are connected to Gaia, the living earth. We're connected to the plants. We're connected to each other. We're, we're you know, we're part of God in that sense. Um, we are the creators, you know, um, and so this is our planet. We have to look after it. We have to look after each other. We have to have a reciprocal relationship with this planet. And, um, that's what's going to pull us through this next period of time. So cannabis can participate in that, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's the people's plant. It's the most accessible of all the psychedelics, and when used effectively, it has a unique quality among the psychedelics, isn't it? It's both powerful and gentle at the same time, but even when it's powerful, it has a gentle way of bringing you in.